Okay, are you? Oh, doing great. Doing great. <clears throat> yeah, this is James, uh, deputy sheriff from Kentucky. I sent you the message on Facebook earlier. Um, okay, what I'd like to tell your audience, um, and I think your audience is the perfect group, I guess, to expose this to. <clears throat> um, back in 2005, summer 2005, it was in about mid-August, uh, I used to be the only patrol deputy in the whole county. Um, at night, I worked third shift uh, all the time. And uh, as far as UFOs go, never really gave it much thought. I was pretty much an agnostic on the subject. But um, this night, I've got a 911 call in from the dispatch that a truck driver on the parkway had witnessed what he thought was a, maybe a house on fire off in the distance. And um, it, it was about the county line, just way out in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> so I go out there about seven minutes away and of course, I'll speed out there to see what's going on, and uh, I'm, I'm with my, well, he, he's a police officer now, I'm not, I'm in real estate now, I kind of got out of it about two years ago, but we get up to this house, and um, it's in the woods, and <laughs> all I can say is, there was a huge golden glow, like an orange golden glow, coming from like the woods and the house, and I get to where I can actually see it, and I'm in the end of the driveway, and all of a sudden, I'm looking at this um, ship, and it, it's like, it, it's just, it, it's really bright, glowing. It looks like molten metal, actually. Um, about the same colors, but it has all these other colors just kind of dancing around it. There's not a particular light source. There's no light bulbs, nothing like that. It's just okay. um, kind of like iridescent. But anyway, um, it's about 15 feet uh, up above the roof of the house. It's a two-story house. And uh, so oh, me oh, and my oh, hold on a second. Okay, you think this thing was just fifteen feet above your home? Uh, well, not well, not my home. It's the home that was called in. Yeah, it was about fifteen feet above the home. Wow. The roof. Now, now that's now that's what I'm talking about. Unidentified flying objects, UFOs. You know this isn't a star, right? You know this is something that you've never. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, this is not a star, and it's not a weather balloon either. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I didn't even say a word to my little partner, I guess you could call him at the time. We just both got out of the car, and we just both had the doors open, and we just looked, and we just stared. And um, all, I, it was just really odd. I mean, you see something like that, and um, it just... Well, I had a lot of fear. I'll, I'll put it that way. It was just really a lot of fear. Like, like I was so solid. I couldn't do nothing. Um, it was just like my, I don't know, my thought process just shut down. Um, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't, I, I had this really strong urge to go for my gun because of the fear, but I just could not do it. I just, like my hands wouldn't work. But um, I was staring, we were staring at this thing, neither of us said a word. And um, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> I couldn't even really move my head to look. I was just in amazement looking at this thing. And um, anyway, about six, five, six minutes after we were staring at it, it just shot up. I mean, I'm guessing about a good 80,000 feet, I mean, way up, and uh, just stopped. And then about three seconds after it had stopped, it just shot off to, in an angle, just got into space, just, you couldn't even see it anymore. I mean, it just disappeared. And I mean, I don't know. Um, after that, I just got in the car. My friend got in the car, and um, I just, he's like, What are we going to do about this? I said, I don't know. And I said, We should get out of here, you know? <laughs> and uh, so I just got away, got back what? to the house, back to it. Yeah. <clears throat> Hit the gas, let's and, get uh, out of here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, but still, I, I don't know. I, I felt, go ahead. Yeah, that's. Wow, you know, this is what I was just talking about a few minutes right before you called. It's looking for the extraordinary. And what well, do you think? Is, was this man? Was this a natural phenomenon? You think? You said it looked like molten lava. Molten lava. <clears throat> it was the color of molten lava. It wasn't. It didn't actually look like molten lava. It was just the same orange glow, kind of goldish glow. Yeah, that's uh, molten lava or molten metal, actually. I should and say. How fast um, you said it took off straight up. How how far did it go up until you lost sight of it? Well, it went up, I'm going to guess, about 80,000 feet. And I say that because it went up quite a bit higher than the 30,000 feet that I 
you know, what jet airliner would travel at. Um, it, it was, I mean, it was a clear night sky. It just shot way up, but it was so bright and, and so big that, you know, you could see it for a long ways off. And um, anyway, and then it just stopped on a dime there, and then it said about three seconds and just shot off. I mean, completely out of sight in about, about three seconds, I'd say. Um, what know, about this? And what do you? This, huh? But this phenomenon of paralysis when you come across uh, in close in proximity to a, a ship of some sort, like how far were you away from this thing? You say it's about fifteen feet above the home, so you were approximately maybe about forty-five, fifty feet from whatever this thing was. Yeah, maybe about 50 feet, 50 to 60 feet away. I was at the, you know, pretty much the, the beginning of the driveway of the home. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I just stopped. And thought, you, you couldn't really see much. You could see the glow really easy. But it's, I mean, there's so many trees. It was so thick. But as soon as I got to the driveway and got into the clear and see the house, that's when you could actually see the ship, you know. And, um, I mean, well... I mean, it was just amazing, you know. I mean, I've never seen anything like that in my life. And as soon as I saw it, I knew what I was looking at. Um, I mean, <laughs> you know, you don't mistake something like that. So, uh, Absolutely. And know, then, so this, <clears throat> this is something interesting because I've been hearing this quite often. Obviously, this paralysis. I'm wondering if they put up or emit some kind of energy wave that kind of renders the body... Uh, incapable of moving. 